again. Jeb, Aussie Dave. Jeb, as I said, she was changing. He seems to be getting a bit bored of Thailand. And he made it clear that what he was going to do was get visas for Jeb to go permanent in Australia. But he also wanted to go to Bali, Malaysia, all around Asia to find a place where he could have his bar. Um, but before he went, he was going to do Ko Chang. This is going to be his last look in Thailand for a bar. Jiab, she'd had this Botox in the cheeks and they were at the top of the cheeks and it looked a bit funny, to be honest. But let's do the story of Jiab. Her chin was pointed. The next thing she wanted was, I believe it's shaved, but changed. And again, off they went to Bangkok. A month back, a month, three weeks maybe, back again. She walked in and her chin was flat underneath. And I looked at her and I thought, oh my God, you're starting to look like a guy. The, this part of, above her, below her eyes didn't look right and she had this flat chin. Her beautiful looks were going. And I couldn't say anything. You just, I couldn't say, what the hell are you doing? You're ruining your looks with all this surgery and things. But even though that's what I was thinking. But Dave was over the moon. He was happy. She was happy. And after just a couple of days back, she was talking that now she wanted her cheeks Botox to even it all out and make it her the ultimate look. She thought that was it. It was going to be one more thing and she'd be perfect. And Dave was all for it. Um, but first off they went, Ko Chang. And he found um, a resort down there for sale, which had something like 10 bungalows, um, a bar, a small hotel, and actually, he really liked it. And he came back um, and told me about this and said he was interested, but the price was a bit high. He was going to leave it for now. They were going to head back off to Australia uh, shortly. And then a bit of a trip around other parts of Asia and keep an eye on that resort and see if the price comes down. But before they went back, I think they had about four weeks left, something like that. Jiab wanted this last procedure and they headed off to Bangkok again um, and she had all this Botox cost a fortune put into her cheeks but something went wrong she got an infection on the one cheek um, she had to stay in hospital Dave um, came back down from Patea to get all their stuff and sort the hotel out and he put left some of the stuff with the hotel and came and saw me and said what had happened that they Botox had gone wrong it had been infected and they were going to have to take part of her cheek away to get rid of the infection um, but they weren't going to be able to put Botox or reconstruct. It would have to get better first. And it sounded awful, I mean. Well, and he was a bit worried. He wasn't worried so much about her looks, but he was worried about <coughs> the operations and things. Anyway, at this point he said goodbye. And off he went to Bangkok. Now, it was uh, three months later, maybe four months, that he and Jiab reappeared. Um, he was, he'd come back again. They were going to head to Koh Chang. And then they were heading down south of Malaysia, Bali and places. But in they walked. And at that moment, I felt sad. I, oh, it was, it was hard to, hard to explain. But Jiab had 
um, totally changed. It's all gone wrong for the cosmetics. Her one cheek was enlarged from the Botox, the other side was sort of concave in. She had that flat chin, um, but it had all healed, but she looked like she'd been through a war. Um, oh, totally ruined her face. And anyway, I couldn't say anything. I was just, hi, how are you and everything. And Dave had arranged that she was going back to the hospital and they were going to try, reconstruct this cheek and make it the same. So it was all even and everything would be fine and that'd be it done. And while she was in hospital, he was going to go off to Ko Chang and look at this resort and come back up and he'd come and see me and then he'd be off to Bangkok. Over the few weeks, she'd come back into hospital. They'd reconstructed the cheek. Uh, however they do it, I don't know. Um, and at the same time, <laughs> she had uh, a bit of an eye lift slightly. She was only 27, 28. Something done with her eyes at the same time. Mad, mad. Had the reconstruction, but it would take weeks to heal and she'd be in bandages. He'd gone to Koshang, the resort fell through, it was still too much money. Got um, Jiab had come out, they'd come to my bar, they'd come back down to Patea for a, a week while she's in bandages and stuff. He didn't want to go off to Malaysia and places until it all healed and. Um, the hospital given her the all, all clear but her eyes they they'd done an eye lift with oh wow it was weird it was as if her eyebrows one was higher than the other it didn't look she was becoming a frankenstein the look i just and i couldn't see couldn't see the all the cheeks with all the bandages and things but oh my totally ruined her looks she was yeah it just gone wrong plastic surgery gone wrong she'd lost the looks totally such a shame and he'd spent thousands and thousands and all this corrective surgery was costing so they'd had a couple of weeks in Patea I'd see them most days it was time bandages come off and all the rest of it and they went back off to the hospital of Bangkok and I, I thought then that was it I wasn't going to see them again for months um, they were going to head off to Malaysia and places once the hospital had took all the bandages and everything apparently they weren't happy but there was no way they were going to operate any more they didn't want to do any more everything had healed um, enough for them to go off and that's what they did. They went off down to Bali and Malaysia, looked around different islands. No luck, Dave still couldn't find anything. And they came back up, arrived back into Patea, and this was gonna be the last time I saw them. Um, they came into my bar and I was shocked. It, the reconstruction surgery on Gio's face was even worse. She looked disformed, her face. It was, it's hard to describe. I had no pictures, but the two cheeks were totally different. The eye, the eyes looked strange, the chin. She'd ruined her looks. She looked like a beast. Beauty and the beast. Totally ruined. Looked disfigured sadly and you could see she wasn't happy she wasn't that bubbly jab she wasn't that confident person she was starting you could makeup was coming on and it was going to be more and more makeup to try and cover it all up so sad but dave was still 
they were in love, he was in love, he was happy, he'd found the right woman. And this was the last time I saw them. They were heading back to Australia. The mention that maybe Jab was going to try an Australian hospital to get a little bit more correction done, just to get it right. And I thought, oh no, oh dear. But Dave was a fabulous guy. He stuck with her. He could have just dumped her and oh, go and get a new girl, but he didn't. And as I said, that was the last time I saw them, physically saw them. And they went back to Australia. Now, I came to the end of my time in the bar scene and I moved off to Bangkok. Never saw Giab and Dave again. However, we did keep in touch in those days by email and we chatted occasionally on, on Skype or whatever it was I was using at the time. And they got married in Australia. They actually got married. She had a visa to stay there. Later on, she was going to apply for citizenship. They were happy. She had gone again, more surgery. It hadn't helped. Dave sent me some pictures of the pair of them and you could see in the photos, it was actually getting worse, the surgery. Not good, it was getting worse. And I lost touch with them after I left Bangkok. Um, but I can say a few years later through a friend of a friend of a friend um, I had the news that they had got married and they were happy. She had apparently done some more surgery but it hadn't helped and was disfigured for life because of all those surgeries. But they were settled and they'd stayed in Australia. Don't know what David got into, probably another bar or more buildings. But they had happy ever after ending they stayed together it was just all the surgeries which in my opinion was didn't need she didn't need any but as far as I know to this day they are still married happily and living in Australia um, whether I'll ever see them again I when I left Bangkok I lost my phone I lost all my emails and contacts I have no contact of them, so uh, maybe I'll just have a dig around and see if I can, through friends, get hold of them, see if I can get some pictures, that would be great. But there is the story, Beauty and the Beast, well, whatever we decide to call it, fabulous Aussie Dave, wonderful guy, Gieb was a wonderful person, but, ah, vanity stepped in but as long as they're happy and they're still together that's a really good happy ending story again that's two stories you've had now happy endings so is there anything to learn from this if your Thai girlfriend says get a nose job she wants a nose job don't do it don't do it <laughs> as soon as she did that nose that was the start of her obsession with surgery and changing her looks. Don't do it. I'll catch you on another video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, subscribe, thumbs up and all that. And take care. Bye.